you may often hear people say, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. And that feeling that you get on a hot summer's day, it's known as the heat index. The heat index value is a measure of the air temperature and the relative humidity. It's also known as the feels like temperature or the apparent temperature in the atmosphere. So with heat index values, we consider that humidity. So when we talk about high temperatures and low dew point temperatures, naturally your body sweats. Sweat uses a process called evaporative cooling. That cooling process is what cools your body down. Meanwhile, on a very hot and muggy and humid day with high temperatures and high dew points, your body sweats. The sweat can ev evaporate in that environment and then your body heats up. It's not able to cool down. So with the heat index value, we consider again two factors, temperature and relative humidity. This chart here is a measurement of the air temperature. You go along here and you see the relative humidity and that brings us in that heat index value. Here's an example. The air temperature is 88 degrees. Relative humidity, 85 degrees. That feels like temperature, that heat index will feel like 110 because of the humidity. When we talk about the heat index, you always want to use caution, especially when we start to get those temperatures into the danger zone, 103 to 124 degrees. Heat exhaustion likely, heat stroke possible. So heat index really considers a lot of that humidity. We have a lot of heat index values in the forecast ahead, so be sure to tune in to Weather Nation. I'm meteorologist Alana Cameron.